Oh my gosh. Guys, this is not a drill. The fact that this was our plan B, the fact that this was supposed to be a bad thing. We just walked in. This place is... I had a feeling you'd come back and see me. It is officially fall in Florida, at least this week. It has been pretty chilly. Like when I went for a run this morning and yesterday morning, it was in the 50s, which my body is not used to right now. Okay, so it warmed up to 64 degrees all across the country. It's snowing. I know in Buffalo, Cincinnati, like it's snowing. It's crazy. And here in Florida, we are just like complaining about 64 degrees. This is, this is what I've dreamed of my whole life. And I'm so annoyed because I planned for us to have a nice little chat while I fold my laundry, but let me check it again. It takes forever. Yeah, it's still damp, darn it, for this to dry. This is like the worst dryer situation ever, but I guess that won't matter because tomorrow is moving day. And so that means this vlog is probably gonna be a little bit chaotic. It always is. I feel like I have things down to a science. You guys know I have my packing cubes, but there are just so many little things, like just so many little things. I feel like this is probably our most disorganized move, even though, first of all, I didn't even mention, we are currently in St. Petersburg, Florida, my fiance and I, Zach, if you're new here, and we are gonna be moving just down the street here in St. Petersburg, Florida. We were originally gonna be going to Miami, our Airbnb canceled on us, and we have just loved it here so much that we decided, why not do another month? I mean, as we speak, this is my view. Like, come on, that is insane, and I'm unsure about what our next Airbnb will be like. Obviously, you guys know the drill. It's always a little nerve wracking, but I'm just so happy we're staying here in St. Petersburg. And by the way, this morning we saw dolphins right there. I tried to get it on camera, but then they got camera shy, but like, what? And I hope you guys are proud of me because I have not put any heat on my hair in like, I think it's been two weeks. I really wanna make it to a full month just because it's it's been breaking in certain sections. I mean, there are some, oh, like I think that's breakage which is awful. I know, like, that's disgusting. I don't even mind showing this. So I've just been wearing it natural, which, let's be real, when I say wearing it natural, I really just mean putting it up in a bun because I just don't like wearing it natural. I was considering getting one of those, like, heatless um, hair things on Amazon, but I am going to be chopping it in a couple of weeks, and that is when I'm going to resume some heat. But until then, I really just want to be natural. I actually originally had the haircut appointment today, but I just figured I'd be too busy with moving. I didn't want to deal with that. So I scheduled it for two weeks from now. And by the way, just to throw it out there, this video is technically not as up to date as all of my others. And that is because I'm going on a secret break because Zach's parents are coming for Thanksgiving Monday, today's Friday. And I just want to take that whole week off from vlogging, not have to worry about it. Just spend time with them, be present but I don't wanna actually take a break. Like I'm still gonna be uploading normal and then, oh my gosh guys, tomorrow, like when you're watching this tomorrow, Vlogmas begins. So it's gonna be a lot, but I know that taking this break right before Vlogmas is gonna make me so excited to vlog because whenever I take a break, I always like just come back at it so excited. Oh, and last night, so I posted on Instagram, this randomly just popped up for me when I was looking through old photos. I didn't even realize I still had it, but it was from the night Zach asked me to be his girlfriend and he got me gifts. Because I remember he said something like, he said, we were sitting on my couch and he was like, so like, do you wanna be my girlfriend? And for whatever reason, I felt awkward and I changed the subject. Like I didn't say no, but I just somehow changed the subject naturally. I don't know, I, I really don't know. So then a few minutes later, he was like, so was that a yes to being my girlfriend? Because you know what I said? This is so embarrassing. I said, I suppose to him. I said, I suppose. I can be your girlfriend and then I change the subject. I don't know why, like it makes no sense. And then he was like, did you say yes? Cause if you did, I have presents. And I'm like, oh yes, now I said yes. And they were the cutest presents ever. It was flowers, a necklace, a bracelet, Smirnoff, which was an inside joke between us. And then my favorite present, his old high school football sweatshirt. Like that was seriously my favorite present. And I was going to Ireland and London the next day. And so I just wore it all throughout the trip. And it's so funny. My parents had no idea who Zach was. I think I mentioned to my mom like a week before, like I did start talking to someone, but I'm not telling you his name. So I had a boyfriend and my parents didn't even know his name or anything about him. I don't know why. I just didn't want to tell them. I didn't want my mom like stalking him. I knew she would, but I wore the sweatshirt which had Zach's last name on it. And that is how she found out who Zach was. Also, this has been my go-to makeup lately. Just really natural with pink lips, 
wings like that's like my one like whoa type thing because i'm not doing any eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything or i should say bottom eyeliner and it's like very natural but with like with a little pop at this point i don't think my laundry is ever going to dry so i think i'm just going to do my afternoon tea before laundry instead of after because i'm feeling like i need the boost Welcome to your tea time with Clance. I want to thank Peak Life for sponsoring this video and ultimately for giving me a part of my afternoons that I genuinely look forward to. And you guys know I've always been a tea drinker. I dabble in coffee, but through and through, I'm a tea gal. And I started drinking it in college, not because I was so excited for what it was gonna taste like. Like it's fine, but it's not like my taste buds were like craving it, but it's for the health benefits. And when you start doing the research, it's kind of crazy. So with Peak Life, what I really love is that they show you exactly what each type of tea will do for you. For example, this is the BT Fountain Beauty Electrolyte, and then the benefits are right there. Youthful skin and deep hydration. I've also been loving the Japanese Sencha Green Tea, which supports energy and immunity, but by far the one that I've made at a point, I want this to be like a daily ritual for me because of the benefits is this matcha but not just any matcha this is the sun goddess matcha which is organic quadruple screen for purity and ceremonial grade and when i first heard this i was like ceremonial what i had no idea what that is but basically all it means is that this is the highest quality grade of matcha and that makes a difference when you're drinking it matcha has so many benefits it supports gut health it can help with your digestion it can boost your metabolism also curb sugar cravings but by far the one that I was most shocked about, and this is the one I'm most interested in, I mean, I guess there are a couple, we'll get to that in a second, but skin, it can actually improve your skin. And when you do the research, you will wonder why every single person is not drinking matcha. I mean, my dad has been telling me this for years. I don't know why I've ignored him. <laughs> matcha has been proven to reduce inflammation and improve circulation, and that translates to clearer, brighter skin. I mean, it's not just what you put on your skin. A lot of people always ask, how do I have clear skin for the most part? It's not just about like creams and moisturizers and all of that. It's also what you put in your body. That means food. That means, you know, are you eating a lot of sugar? And then also there are things like matcha that give you a little bit of help. And actually, okay, I do have makeup on right now, full disclosure, but not a lot of it. I mean, and you can see my complexion is clear. I've been drinking this for, I guess I started last month and it's just, Oh my gosh, you could spend hours reading all of the benefits of this. One of the reasons I choose to have this in the afternoon is because it's just pretty much been canceling my afternoon slump. That is where I really struggle. I don't struggle to get up in the morning. I, I've always been like, all right, let's get up. But 3 p.m., I don't know what it is. 3 p.m., that is when I just, I don't know. I like lose momentum. I lose energy. I have been getting B12 shots as well. And then on the weekdays, I make sure to drink a cup of matcha before the slump hits. So right now, what time is it? All right, it's 2.30. This is actually a little later than normal for me because of the whole laundry situation. My Apple Watch thinks I'm talking to it. But I noticed lately I've been having more energy. And yes, I also am sleeping well. I mean, there's so many things that go into how you might feel. Oh, and I have to say one thing I was worried about with matcha, because I've been hearing for years that I need to get on this matcha train and I just haven't, is I was worried about the taste. What's it gonna taste like? I feel like if something is this good for you, it must taste bad, right? No. I can't explain it. It almost tastes like nothing. Like there's a taste to it. What I was worried about was that I was gonna have like a kick. It's very smooth though. This specific one, once again, this is the Sun Goddess Matcha that I am obsessed with. So if you guys wanna give Peak a try, now is the time to do it because they are offering you 15% off your first month of the Sun Goddess Matcha plus free shipping if you use the link below. So I'll have that in the description box. Cannot recommend it enough. I actually need my new order. This, this is all I have left, which is sad. Just goes to show I love it though. Okay, so this is a little packing update. I basically just get all of my cubes, gather them on the bed. This is my third time doing this, so I should be an expert. I still have clothes in the laundry though, which is always annoying. But yeah, I just start packing these in my suitcases. And a big tip, and this is like a key element, and this is why I always delay my packing, is you have to figure out what you are going to wear tomorrow. So I decided I'm gonna be wearing leggings, a white t-shirt that still needs to go in the dryer because it's so wrinkly. And then, oh, here makes me want to throw up. This is like not good. <laughs> and then I'll probably either wear my pink puffer or a jean jacket. I'm not sure which. It's going to be like 70 degrees tomorrow. Like what even is that? That's like kind of like right in between. I know you're probably like, what the heck? You shouldn't be wearing a puffer in 70 degrees, but I just love my puffer. Okay. And then as you can see, Zach has a much different method of packing. He does not do the cubes. I do not know how he survives. Well, Zach just got home. Do you want to tell everyone about your addiction? Oh, 
what I got as like a little treat for myself. I yeah. got some cards. How much did you spend? I don't know. How much? I don't know. More than 20? Yes, more than 30? More than 50? What are they? What's so great about them? So this is a, a Bengals current player. Like the funny thing is, and not that anyone watching this channel cares, this is he wants. Like, you boys do crazy things. <laughs> yeah, you girls do crazy things. Look at your face full of makeup. You got a facial the other day. Your fake nails spend my like, Yeah, well, this is you girls do crazy things. So my nails look so beautiful. This is my Glamnetic. I think it's like summer picnics. I don't know if they still have it, but. I love these ones. And just like that, I'm experiencing my very last sunset here. And by here, I mean this exact balcony, because obviously we're staying in St. Petersburg, but I don't know where our Airbnb is located in comparison to the sunset. Like I am, I don't know, we're still gonna be on the water, but uh, I've mentioned before this Airbnb, like we're the first people who are gonna be living here and that's a huge risk, but I'm really excited. And I'm just so happy about how this past month has went, how the past three months have went with this whole travel thing. And it's just crazy. And by the way, can I just say, if I had a dime for every time someone commented saying, oh, like just you wait, like Florida in the summer, like don't make any decisions till you've experienced Florida in the summer, like it's the worst. I get that. I've actually, and you guys wouldn't have known this, but I have been to Florida many times in the summer because obviously as a child, you know, summer vacation was the time we could come. My mom's best friend is from here. We've done the whole Disney World thing. I don't know why I just emphasized the word world <laughs> and all that. So like I've experienced Florida in the summer and it is brutal, but I don't think it compares to New York or Ohio in the winter because in New York and Ohio in the winter, you just have to stay inside. It's just awful. But even for the brutal Florida summers, you can go to the beach, you can get in a pool. like you can do a little bit more. I'm not saying I'm gonna wanna play tennis outside in 100 degree, 100% 100 humidity heat, but at least like you can do some things. It doesn't paralyze you in the way that the horrible, horrible winters do up north. Zach is currently, oh, I think you can see him right there. He is doing some last minute work on this Friday evening. He thought he was done because he's actually taking the whole next week off. It is Thanksgiving, so he has Thursday and Friday off. And then he's also taking Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because his parents come, so that's so exciting. But I feel like a lot of us know the drill, like preparing for a vacation. There's a lot you need to do and put into place before you leave. So he's working a little later today. And oh my gosh, okay, there is this boat. It's like a floating billboard that always goes by but from here, I cannot read it. Like, I don't even know if this is effective marketing because I have no idea what that boat says. Even as I zoom in as much as possible, I have no idea. Also, I just finished reading this book last night. It is Live Wire by Kelly Rippa, which you guys know I don't normally read, like, what is it, hardcover, paperback, whatever, physical, physical, physical books. But my mom got this at the airport and she gave it to me when she was here. I rated this a four out of five of my Instagram stories because here's the thing, when I first started reading it, I hated it. It's just, she's trying so hard to be funny. I give her credit, she doesn't have a ghostwriter, but she's just trying way too hard to be funny every other sentence. Like I didn't pick up this book for you to make these jokes. Like I don't, nine times out of 10 when someone's trying to make a joke, I don't find it funny. I don't enjoy stand-up comedians. Like I don't enjoy any of it. I find the funniest people, and my dad is very much so like this. I don't know if this is where I get it from, but the funniest people are the ones who aren't trying. Seriously, so like, it's just like nothing but joke after joke, but through the jokes, she has an interesting story. I mean, it's not a memoir, it is a collection of essays. So it's very much so not in depth, but the things she does talk about were really interesting, such as aging, her time at Live With Kelly, although so not in depth, but she did talk a little bit about working with Regis Philbin, like it was really interesting. And when I was deciding what I would rate it, I was thinking to myself, okay, I read this book in less than 24 hours, which yes, I did. <laughs> People ask how I read so fast. It's not that I read fast. I just put my life on pause and I read. And I was like, okay, considering I read it that fast, I, I liked it, like clearly. Also, what the heck, that sunset, oh. One thing I never showed, just for safety reasons, is this place you guys have probably seen us go to a million times, the Deck Barn Grill, is literally right next to our condo. And it's pretty poppin'. Zach's eating his clam chowder with a side of Coors Light. How does it feel to be on, what is it, like a seven day vacation? How does it feel? Feels good. I mean, I'll have work off to do the next week for sure, but. It's nice that parents are coming into town and we'll be able to relax a little bit. I'm excited! 
Guys, I branched out. I got the Mahi Mahi tacos. Zach ended up getting the wings as well. And the sweet potato fries, of course. It's moving day! And normally on these moving days, we brace ourselves for a very long drive. It's never the best. But the fact that we are just driving five minutes down the street is pretty sweet. The only thing though is check out here, it's 10 a.m. Check in at our new place is 12. So we have to figure out what we're gonna do for two hours. But obviously step number one is just making sure we have packed absolutely everything. And it's just, oh man, I'm definitely gonna miss this. I'm so curious what our next place is like. Uh, even like, this is gonna sound weird, the smell. That I'm a very big person with these Florida smells. I'm sensitive to them. And a lot of these places do smell a little musky. I feel like I kind of got totally used to it here though. By the way, you're just coming with me as I like check to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't even remember what the closet situation looks like at our next place because, okay, guys, this is a little bit sketchy. For our next place, the owner keeps randomly adding and taking away pictures on the thing. Like I asked her at one point, I'm like, hey, like I noticed there weren't any pictures of the bathrooms. Like, can you please send them? And she messaged back saying, there are pictures of the bathrooms. I showed it to my mom, Zach, and me. There were no pictures of bathrooms before, so I think she just added it. And then at one point we were kind of freaking out because I realized I booked it and it didn't have a dining room table. And we're obviously gonna have Zach's parents as I've mentioned before. And we were like, um, Thanksgiving, what do we do? But then all of a sudden a dining room table appeared, not dining room, but kind of like just like a kitchen one over there. So I really don't know what to expect. I don't know what's false and what's true, but I'm excited. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the oh my gosh. Guys, this is not a drill. We just walked in. This place is... The photos didn't do it justice. This place is absolutely insane. First of all, this was not photographed. I don't know how or why they left this out. There's this whole office area. What the heck? This is insane, like beautiful. And then, oh my gosh, like this is so much better than our last place. Don't mind this, we just obviously walked in. You've got this beautiful upgraded kitchen. I haven't even, what is this? Is this maybe washer dryer? Yes, washer dryer, that is huge. I always say we need that. Pantry, all of this, oh my goodness. And then just look at this. Okay, well I guess you can't even see the view from here but it's huge. We have this table where we didn't even know there was a table at first, couch, all of this. This is the view, beautiful. Oh my goodness, like what? Huge TV, I didn't even realize the TV was this big. Oh my gosh. Then this is the master bedroom, which also has an insane view. We are gonna give this to Zach's parents just because they're wonderful people and they deserve it. So this is gonna be their bedroom. Once they leave, I guess we'll probably move in here because it is really nice. Double sink, you've got the shower. Oh my God, it's like the rain, you know, like that type of shower. Oh wow, this is like the toilet. And then over this way to the other section, the other wing, I can't even believe how big this place is. This will be our bedroom for the time being. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow, this is insane. I think Zach is in our bathroom right now. It's much smaller than the master, but still nice. But like, what? I don't like the fact that this was our plan B, the fact that this was supposed to be a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, like our Miami thing canceled. I don't know. My heart rate is high right now. I feel weird. I feel unworthy, but this is so nice. And actually I wonder, does this like slide? Yes. Wow. It's actually cooler because we are on a lower floor, so you really feel like you're there. And let's see, we've got the the two lounging chairs. Oh my gosh, Zach's parents are gonna love this. Oh, like this is, by the way, this is all real time. We've just walked in, so I need to like digest, take a moment. It's gonna be so hard to leave this place. I want to personally thank every single person who recommended the library. It is by far the coolest restaurant I have ever been to. Not to mention, the food was amazing. Zach's pancakes, like what the heck, that looks so good. And then that, what you're looking at, that's a book, but that's how you get your check and you can sign your name. And by the way, this is the first time in Zach and I's relationship he wasn't able to finish his food because there was just so much. Oh my goodness, guys, this is just, 
this is all too much. It's so funny because this was supposed to be our worst step. Oh shoot, where's my my beauty blender. Can't forget the beauty blender. But yeah, this was supposed to be our worst stay where I was kind of just like, oh, you know, whatever, you can't win them all. Because our place in Miami was gonna be very, very tiny. Like, I don't even think we had a dining room table in Miami. It was just gonna be so small, but it's okay because Miami's obviously really expensive. And then, I don't know, I just was not expecting this place to be as amazing as it is is and i'm so happy that i'm going to be doing vlogmas like starting tomorrow so it's really cool that i'm going to be able to do it in such a cool setting i don't know like where i live like my home it's essentially almost like a studio like a filming background like i know that sounds so silly but i don't it makes a difference even like the lighting in charlotte it was just harder for me to vlog i always had to put on like my top light which doesn't always look the best and i'm just now so excited for vlogmas two things make me very excited for vlogging one, a new camera that always gets me hyped. And then two, like a cool vacation or location or something like that. Tonight, actually, I have, oh, I have a lot of time. I have like an hour to get ready. Zach and I are going to be having a couple of friends over and then we're gonna be going out to downtown St. Petersburg with them. These are people we met at a wedding last year and then they happen to be living here in St. Petersburg until i forget i think they leave i think they leave right when we do so they've been living here for a year so it'll be really cool to see them it's really cool that they're even down here i had no idea until like a couple weeks ago and they're really good friends with zach's good friend which is aka how we met them at a wedding but i am just so freaking excited for the next month with vlogmas i was feeling very unsure and then I kind of just sat down to give like a loose plan of different topics for each day. Like I don't want to just go into it like pick up my camera and see what happens because nothing good ever comes of that. Like I want to go into each day being like this is going to be the theme or the topic and if something else happens like a random thing that's great but I at least want to be prepared to put out some good content. Like it's not going to be my 30 minute vlogs right like that's that's a lot for <laughs> daily content. It's going to be a lot shorter. It's going to be a little bit different than maybe what you have been seeing on my channel, but like that's the fun of Vlogmas. Just something different. Like I just think it's something fun that I do for myself. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for views. My mom was saying like, isn't that gonna be too many days for people to watch? Isn't like no one gonna watch basically? And listen, it's gonna be a lot less people, a lot less views than normal, but who the heck cares? Like I, Vlogmas isn't about that for me. It's just, I did it in college when I was getting like, I don't know, a thousand views for a video. It's just a fun little creative challenge I like to do. And now that I don't have a job, it's something I can do. And it's so crazy to think like at this time last year, I just had no idea this is how my life would be. As for my makeup, we are going to go casual tonight, which honestly, like I'm in the mood to do a full beat, but... It's just, it just doesn't match. A, my hair is just gonna be in a bun because I'm doing No Heat November and I plan on dressing down and that kind of looks weird with like a full shocking face. So this is a thing we didn't know about. It even has a fireplace. I just finished getting ready and by ready, it's not really anything crazy tonight. We're just, we're doing casual vibes because it's actually kind of chilly here. I think it's like, 68 degrees and that's kind of it's kind of crazy here in florida zach is making himself a drink making himself at home are you just having that straight yeah no yes you just drink that you like it yeah i don't know what these glasses are but oh it looks cool and the ice cube show the ice cube this is like the coolest it's actually guy. like a bourbon ice cube type thing so what are your current thoughts what's going through your head right now i just can't believe how we've been living lately now that we're we finally made it no i mean no offense for our last place but this place is like twice as nice as our last place it's bigger renovated there's an office two bedrooms the view like our last view we always like talked about how amazing it was and this is the exact same bay but like we're just closer to the water so it's nicer that's why because so. i was trying to think i'm like why is this view better it's because we're on the water the last one we were like i don't know 20 30 feet back no complaints right now are you still living your florida zach life I'm upgrading, it seems, as we go. I feel like there was also added pressure with this place because we knew Zach's parents were coming, so if it was bad, it's like, it's bad for all of us. But now that we know it's going to be an amazing month, I am so excited. And it's also gonna be really weird taking this break off from vlogging, and it's going to make me so excited to start vlogging again. That always happens. So, oh my gosh, like, I'm just, I'm hyped. I'm sorry if I'm annoying. I can't help it. Whenever I'm happy, I just, I ramble. Good morning.
morning guys i am currently ice rolling my face i have become an ice roller convert like i'm converted to this lifestyle it is just such a good thing to do in the morning especially a night after drinking i really wish we weren't talking right now but unfortunately we are it is 5 30 i have been awake since 4 obviously didn't go to bed until like midnight last night so did not sleep and this is just something that happens every single time i drink like not if i have like a sip or like you know like one little drink but i had i think three drinks last night and that will do it to me where i just i simply can't sleep like alcohol just does that to me and it's so weird and frustrating because zach is the opposite it makes him sleep more i don't know how but i'm jealous but last night was so much fun i barely vlogged which i knew i wouldn't just because i try not to be that weirdo who like whips out her camera when i'm you know first meeting people but it was so much fun that place we went to was so cool and they were playing christmas music and then i think today later we are going to go to their house to watch the Bengals game with a couple other people so that'll be fun it is 10 a.m i have now been awake for six hours i finally decided to have breakfast which honestly guys i have not been craving breakfast or my chocolate oatmeal lately because i decided to switch to what's it called steel cut oats i read it's a lot healthier than the other kind but it tastes awful. Like it's, it's just not good. This is the container and then the texture is just so different. It's like these little pellets instead of the flakes. And I just did not get my consistency right. It's just, it hasn't been hitting lately. I'm not gonna lie, but I like this little bowl situation we have going on. Meanwhile, Zach has his leftovers from yesterday's lunch and I am, let's get the little light on. Oh my gosh, I am so jealous. I can't even eat these though because I'm allergic to so much in this not only dairy and eggs but i'm also weirdly allergic to cinnamon which i found out like a couple years ago i tried putting in my oatmeal and each and every day i started noticing like my tongue was getting itchier and itchier and itchier and that's the thing with allergies and why i'm so scared of ever accidentally eating a tree nut because they get worse and worse your body's exposed to it the first time it could be awful but then the next time it's going to be 10 times worse. I don't know what it is. I guess your body is like kind of used to it and it just like attacks even harder. So my doctor told me like, if you ever eat a nut again, because the last time I ate a nut, I mean, I almost died. So I can't even imagine how much worse it could be. I guess looking back on it, my throat, it probably took my throat, I don't know, 30 minutes to fully close, 35. I don't know. I really don't know the time. I just know by the time we got to the hospital, and I was in the emergency room, it fully closed, where I had a moment where I like breathed in and there was no air. Scariest thing ever, but luckily, I was surrounded by doctors who like saved my life, so. Anyway, random story time that I was not planning on uh, telling, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and leave a lot of the things I have planned for the next month, Vlogmas. Make sure you're subscribed, I'm so excited just to get in the Christmas spirit here in Florida. Like I've never had a warm Christmas season, but here's the thing, like it's not like it's 80 degrees. Today, for example, right now it's in the 50s. So like it's still getting chilly, it's just not frigid. I just looked it up in Cincinnati, it's 19 degrees. That makes me want to throw up, that is awful. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this moving vlog. I feel like it was very all over the place. I'm sorry about that. It, I, it just everything was real and raw <laughs> and my reactions were probably really annoying but anyway i'll talk to you guys later bye